technology dependent industries like medicine, agriculture and cosmetics are continuously driving innovation for new materials and substances forward. Because of its unique properties, the diverse class of chitosans has become a promising candidate for research in these fields. These substances are abundant in nature but not yet marketable for high standard applications. In the Nano3 Bio project, scientists and industry are collaborating to produce chitosans with biotechnology. This will guarantee environmentally friendly, reliable and safe products for healthcare, food industry and cosmetic applications. Chitosans are natural sugar compounds and closely related to chitin, which is well known as the major component of insect and shellfish exoskeletons, and moreover it is found in the cell walls of fungi. Chitosan is really an amazing molecule. Um, it is a complex sugar, so it means that it is um, a chain of sugar molecules, a long chain of sugar molecules. It's actually quite simple molecules. You simply take a lot of sugar molecules and add them to a long chain. The thing is that these, some of these sugar molecules can carry an acetic acid residue, so it's like vinegar attached to the sugar. Some of the sugars have this attachment and some do not have it. So you can have very different molecules. And actually in this way, chitosan is a family of molecules with very many different structures. And we believe that this diversity in structure is also the reason for the diversity in biological activities. Chitosans can be bioactive. This means that living organisms can show all kinds of reactions in the presence of it. When biologists started exploring the bioactivity of chitosan, they revealed a variety of beneficial effects on plants and animals. Chitosan has a number of, of biological properties. That means it interacts with cells, either with mammalian cells, like the ones in our body or in, in animals, like uh, bacteria, and with plant cells, in a very specific ways. And I would say that the main property of it is that it's biocompatible. So at the same time, it's antibacterial. So that means that it can prevent bacteria from growing and then it will be very helpful, for example, to, to develop a, a material that can come in a wound or in a burn um, wound and will, will, on the one hand, prevent bacter pathogenic bacteria to grow but at the same time will help also the healing process. And the reason for this is that chitosan has components that are very similar to polymers that we have in, in our body, in our tissues. Nano3Bio tries to overcome the drawbacks of traditional chitosan production, which is done from crab shell waste of the fishing industry. But the applied chemical method requires large amounts of acid and produces a lot of wastewater, which has a harsh impact on the environment. In addition, the end product doesn't offer the required purity and reproducibility needed for medical and food applications. One of the main goals of Nano3Bio is the implementation of an environmentally friendly and productive biotechnological approach. Instead of aggressive chemicals, specialized microorganisms will be utilized to realize a cheaper, safer and location-independent production of pure and defined chitosans. Microorganisms like bacteria and yeasts are very efficient in the production, degradation or conversion of all kinds of natural substances. They have been utilized by traditional biotechnology for ages and are crucial ingredients of products in our everyday lives, like dairy, bread, beer and wine. Another application is, for example, in medical biotechnology. Eh? Insulin. In the past it was very difficult to have insulin available for patients who have uh, diabetes. But now insulin is produced via biotechnology via recombinant DNA technology, patients are able to buy insulin in relatively high amounts. So um, biotechnology is very important in daily life, I would say. Insulin production is just one of many examples for the use of biotechnology. Others include antibiotics, wastewater clarification, vaccine production or washing powder. By using modern biotechnology, the Nano3 Bio project will be able to obtain clean chitosans with defined biological activities, which are necessary for final products in high standard markets. If you go into the medical field, you cannot have um, starting materials which are diverse, because then it's very difficult to know that this material will exactly behave like the next batch. You need what is called um, in 
in the chemical industry, uh, well, reproducibility. You need to establish the parameters so when you know that you are taking a pill, the next pill exactly contains the same amount of, of active stuff. And here is where this chitin chitosan produced by biotechnological means uh, come into play. Uh, new compounds, new products that are free of possible contaminations uh, as the natural, naturally obtained ones and with well-defined structures for these more personalized, more high-value applications. The method to attain the desired chitosan is a very common biotechnological process. A specialized microorganism is grown in a controlled environment and fed with raw material, which it will turn into the desired product. The processes that are developed in the Nanotree Bio project are fermentation processes. This means that microorganisms are used to convert, for example, an inexpensive uh, carbon source, uh, which could be, for example, sugar, uh, into uh, what we call chito-oligosaccharides and polysaccharides. Um, so basically what you do is you're going to use bacteria or yeast um, to do this conversion. And this is done in fermenters or in shake flasks, for example. Once the conversion is completed, the microorganism and the end product are separated so that the chitosan can be purified and processed. By this way, biotechnology achieves high yields while reducing energy consumption and waste production in respect to the conventional process. With this innovative strategy, Nano3Bio hopes to accelerate the development of current chitosan applications and establish new ones. Learn more about Nano3Bio on our website and thank you for watching.